<laughs> it's time. It's time. Well, guys, it is time for us to leave our sanctuary of the RV park. It is now May 1st. We had a reservation on May 1st up in Cottonwood, Arizona, which actually got canceled. Um, so that was due to uh, people in the park, I guess, staying in the park. We are a Thousand Trails members. Rene Valley is really full right now. Yeah, they're super full. So we weren't too excited about going there anyways, but our reservation uh, here at uh, Fiesta Grande is now done. So Come to an end. we are going to move on. So it's uh, the morning. We're going to be packing up here a little bit and getting ready to head north towards Sedona. Yeah. Road trip. jog in this park. Now we're going to do our last workout in this park and then we're going to shower and pack it up and get out of here. One thing that's for sure is that our storage in the back is always changing. Anytime we buy something new, we have to get rid of something else. And with this new electrical system upgrade, it is taking up a ton of our storage in the back. So this is the first time that we're going to have to pack up since installing it. So what we have uh, to put in are our equalizer bars and our dumbbells, our two rugs, our two chairs, a little table. So that's pretty much all that consists of our outside setup. Those two rugs were really key in this Arizona heat on the windshield and on the back glass. Those uh, kept a ton of heat out. But we have to get this stuff into the new storage setup. We actually had to sell our tent to make room for this because the tent was taking up a ton of space back here too and you can see with the Battleborn batteries the four of them back there that takes up all of the space we used to have our other batteries and chairs and we had some space up here but those pretty much took up that side and then the Victron inverter pretty much takes up this side. This is where I used to store all my tools. So I had a socket set, uh, my tool bag, and even a cordless drill on top of that. So all my tools were right here in this section. So now we're left with just underneath the sofa. And we have a little bit of extra stuff because I have some of the old um, equipment like the old inverter and extra battery cables and fuses and things like that from the install. We still have some of our tools that I don't know what I'm going to do with. I guess I'll probably sell those. I don't really need battery uh, making tools anymore. I'm going to start piling this stuff in and we'll see how far we get. Another 100 degree day in southern Arizona. It is getting hot out here and it's not even 10 a.m. yet. So first I like to get these equalizer bars feet inside here so that the dumbbells can kind of wedge on both sides of these. Uh, some people have asked yeah. how our weights don't move around when we drive and they're 75 pounds a piece and they're just kind of wedged in nice like that so each weight fits kind of perfectly uh, in that system so that's what we've been doing before. I'm going to stick with this for right now. Careful with your back. I usually put one dumbbell in first and then slide these over. And then that other dumbbell fits perfectly right there. 
but I'm already worried about space. There's a couple of feet underneath the sofa here and everything just wedges in perfect. So there's, there's no need to tie these down. Um, they just don't move. They haven't moved in a year and a half. And uh, how many ever? Tens of thousands of miles. We're making some good progress. Uh, we pretty much only have our two rugs left and all my tools, aside from all of the extra things like the Amazon packages and leftover parts that we're not gonna need to store all the time. But you can see how this has to get all packed in there and we still need to work out while we're on the road. So every time to get to our weights, everything's kinda gotta come out. But that's what it is in a small van like this. So make do with what you got. I don't want to stack really anything near these batteries. They are strapped down, but I still want to get some type of cover over top so that those wires aren't exposed, but um, those two might be okay there. We have two sand-free sea gear mats, a 10 by 10 and an eight by eight. And we love having two, we use them both, but as you can see, things are getting tight. So like I said, sometimes this has to change. Some things come in, some things gotta go. Oh, and you can't forget about the power cord and the water hose. That's why I wish there was some outside storage boxes, which I think I'm gonna try to uh, fabricate something underneath, just a small black metal storage box that'll fit a water hose and a power cable. That's it. And this is what we have left over of extra packages, Amazon stuff, which we'll have to obviously store inside until we, I don't know, get back home, store it. But that's what we got left over. So let's check on with Chris and see how she's doing with the water. How are you coming in here? Oh, great. It's, it's crunch time. So I got the waters filled up. Two of them are filtered. One of them is not filtered. And we're just going to put it into the bathroom. Going to put this into the bathroom and see how it all fits in there. So um, I guess I'll put one of these in first and then the Berkey and then try to get it all in. that these new water bags are way better and then we'll put the Berkey here and in, then in the corner maybe yeah like wedge it in this is totally oh, let's get the uh, rubber uh, seal on the bottom this is totally full on top too yeah we store that rubber on top because we want it to be able to slide around on the counter when we're not driving yeah when we're not driving it sits here so we slide the spout over Okay. The safest position. That looks pretty good. Yeah. We'll have to see. We didn't really want to store the Berkey in the bathroom floor, but like I mentioned before, we don't have a ton of options for this thing. And this is pretty safe too. Like if there is an accident with the water, obviously we yeah. want it to go right into our gray tank and not like down crevices into electrical mm -hmm. areas. Yeah. 
So I'm really happy with these so far. Way better than the five gallon jug. And then obviously we just need to leave foot space in here because Aaron and I are in and out of this bathroom all the time. So there's still a little bit of space where we can step in here, mm -hmm. use the toilet. Yeah, and what's nice about this is when, we, out, when we use one, it disappears as opposed to the big five gallon jug, it sat in there the whole time. So the filtered ones are turning that way and the unfiltered one is that way. Okay, so we wouldn't want, three looks like it's pretty good. That's about max what we could probably fit in there safely. Yeah, I don't think we'd want any more. No. All right. Okay, fruit basket. Fruit basket I got up here. This was on the floor while we're stationary because the Berkey goes up here while we're stationary. It's fruit basket we've talked about getting rid of, keeping, but we're like, well, where are we gonna put it when we're driving? And we're like, well, well let's just put it where it came from. And we're like, oh, great idea. That was actually Aaron's idea. So hmm. now this, we just move around, which is nice. It actually stores a lot of produce, so I love it. Um, other than that, we just have a bunch of random stuff that we need to just store in the back. We usually store random crap in the back while we're driving so that it feels clean up here. And then yeah. vice versa, when we are camping and stationary, we'll put all the crap up there. It's like you just kind of shuffle your stuff so you're not constantly looking at stuff while you're sitting. And then we have some trash in here we gotta dump on the way out. I'm gonna open up all these curtains. The heat's already starting to pour in here because we're taking our visors down and going into drive mode. So we're almost there. Gonna pack up the last few stuff and then hit the road. I gotta dump the tanks still yes wrap up the always last on the outside for us is the the power cord and the the hose we do at the very 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 last and then of course we want to dump right before we leave so yeah. that we can maximize our little black tank as much as possible yeah we're showered we're ready to go i'm super excited yep so i'm gonna go dump the tanks and then i'm gonna get we'll get cracking dry quick out here in the heat. And that's it. Nice little two months at Fiesta Grande in Casa Grande, Arizona. It's been a great time, but I think it's it's time to finally go. Woohoo! Where are we gonna go to? That's a really good question. We're not quite sure. We know we're going north. We know we're gonna hit up like Sedona slash and or Flagstaff. Um, but as far as where we're physically sleeping tonight, we do not know that. I think Aaron will be doing a little research on Campendium while we're driving see some options and then hopefully get in early enough to scout it out thoroughly before the sun starts to go down so we're always in a rush against the sunset but i'm really 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 excited to be hitting the road i love travel days we got nothing we got nothing but time <laughs> thank god for that well thank you so much for watching and tune in next time to see where we end up hit that like hit that subscribe and we'll keep the videos coming bye